Hello everyone. Welcome back to RCH Builders. So today we were supposed to be starting the framing on uh, that uh, large two-story addition, but it is raining. It's actually kind of lightly raining down here, but uh, in where that job is, which is about an hour away, it is supposed to be downpouring just about all day long. So instead, because we can't frame in the rain, we're down here again. We will probably try to finish getting that chimney down far enough. But one of my biggest things that I'm wanting to do is try to pour a bunch of concrete uh, in all these holes that we dug the other day. Get that part taken care of. Probably dig two or three more holes. We'll see how many we need when I do my calculations, but we'll try and do all that, get that poured. Um, since we gotta bring water, we'll at least use all our buckets that we have that are full of water. See how far that goes. Probably as we use them, we'll set them outside so that maybe they can fill up and we can keep going. But I think that's what we're gonna do today is focus on that. And then we'll see what happens once we get the holes done, filled up. Uh, I guess my guy's got to move that pile they put right there, that pile of dirt. Um, once we have the concrete poured too, we'll be able to put down plastic down here, which will make it just look a whole lot nicer. And then we'll just uh, cut a little section where each of the um, footers are so that we can, at those locations, put in our little jacks. So, not a big deal. Of course, last time we got the last bit of the uh, sill repair done. Uh, however, the only thing I'm, I'm still not sure of um, is if we are gonna take part of the porch, then we will be doing a little bit more sill up there. But we're gonna try and draw all that up first uh, get it exactly figured out how we want to do the layout before we make that decision. So I was going to try and show the front porch area uh, where we might actually end up having to replace that beam section or whatever, but right now it's too dark to uh, show that under there. So hopefully later it'll get a little bit lighter. Um, kind of depends because it's usually the sun is up by now but with the rain it is just extremely cloudy so we're going to get started on pouring concrete i guess first and then we'll just see um trying to mess with lighting you got fog everything just really messing up with the lighting but um so we'll try and uh see how far we get with pouring the holes we'll do the ones that hopefully are more visible first and then we'll see what we can do about maybe making the rest visible we'll just see so we're gonna get started
All right, so for now, that's as far as we've gotten. We've got three holes done. Each hole is, uh, well, these two here, they took roughly six bags and three buckets of water, uh, roughly. Uh, this one here was gotten a little bit wider at the top than it should have been. That one ended up taking seven bags. But on average, if your footer's sized correctly, it should take six bags, which apparently equates to about three buckets of water as well. Usually we're just using a garden hose, so never did figure that one out, but roughly it seems to be about three buckets of water, one for two bags. So we got the rest of these holes. We still got three more down through there. Uh, I had dug this one earlier and We've got Flynn down there finishing up a hole that uh, Tyler started and then Tyler was helping us while he finishes just scraping out the uh, bottom, getting the sides straighter. And I'll just do some calculations, see if we need to add one more way up near the front on that side. But we're gonna have to see what we can do about getting some water. Uh, the rain's not really going fast enough to fill up our buckets, which is one option. <laughs> but uh, we're probably gonna see maybe if the neighbor is home and if uh, they're willing to sell us some water. Uh, otherwise, we'll try and figure something out. But, so that pallet of concrete that we brought in the other day, you see how uh, much of it's gone already. So there's a chance we will quite possibly need another pallet. Hopefully not a full one. We'll see whenever that one's gone, but that is at least a good bit here for a good start. So right here, they had a big clod of, big pile of dirt that they probably left under here from when they dug out for that chimney. So I just uh, smoothed that out. Just trying to kind of make it as smooth as possible because whenever we put the plastic down, it'll both help the plastic go down and it will also help anybody who's ever crawling under here later from whacking hitting their knee on stuff and it just makes it so much easier i've had to crawl under lots of houses and it is a pain in the butt when they leave rocks bricks and everything so i think uh tyler and flynn are finally almost finished with that hole they're just cleaning it out a little bit more and then i think they'll be done with that one it does look like the distance right here is plenty fine so we shouldn't have to dig another hole there. So that should be good. Um, it's just digging underneath take, is a lot harder, a lot more difficult than digging it out there where there's no flooring above. That's why I want to do those ones before we put the floor back in because it, it's a whole lot easier. It doesn't take as long or as back breaking as trying to do it with a little bitty shovel that they're having to use and pick. So. That's why it's taken them a good while to do that, but looks like they are almost finished with it, and that should be the last hole that needs to be dug. All right, so we haven't uh, been able to get a hold of anybody next door, so I think that, uh, not, not sure, they might not be home. So I guess we're gonna work on trying to finish getting this chimney down the rest of the way that we need it. Uh, so get that down to about the same height as that one over there and then we'll go from there.
right, so we've got this down about the height that we would need it to be to be able to use it as a drop pier. And I've dug out this side down probably about 30 inches right there in that corner. This side could use a little more. And then we're going to dig the, um, we're going to have uh, probably, so the neighbor finally, uh, we found, we seen her and she said we can borrow water. So we're going to have Flynn and your friend Austin here. They are going to continue to dig this out. So they're basically going to get all of it to where it's about two foot. So digging this down about 30 inches, that way they can let the small debris kind of fall and dig out all the big pieces completely all through here. So that then again, we can do the same thing as with that chimney over there. We're just going to fill, fill it with concrete. So to create our, be able to use this as our piers here. So we finally got water. Tyler was able to get that. He's a little bit, a little bit wet, but so we've uh, y'all seen ever seen these uh, guys a little bit, but haven't necessarily fully introduced them. Flynn, uh, he is uh, right now. He's uh, mostly the helper. He's the new guy, the one learning what to do. Your friend Austin, he is uh, one of our crew leaders, and. Uh, He's actually the one who encouraged me to do this channel and actually got it started for me and then, uh, you know, got everything set up, which I greatly appreciate. And then uh, here we got Tyler, the tile man. So he's been with me the longest working uh, for this company. And uh, he is uh, one of my top head guys for sure. And, uh, we call him Tyler the Tile Man because he really hated the idea of doing tile. And then uh, I kept telling him he needed to learn how to do it. I figured he would like it because of just his personality, the kind of stuff he likes to do. And finally, he kept putting it off, putting it off. Finally, one day I told him uh, I had to go do a whole bunch of running around. And I told him uh, he could either go home or tile the shower for me. Started tiling. I enjoyed it. Pretty fun. <laughs> Therapeutic. Yep. Now, now he uh, keeps asking me, when do I get to do another shower? I'm ready to do some more tiling. Yep. So, so that's the crew. Also, my father, you've seen him on weekend when I when we work weekends. Um, so, of course, he's uh, who I started doing construction with, um, working for some of the guys who he worked for. But now that we have water, uh, me and Tyler, we're going to get back to uh, pouring this concrete here while uh, Flynn and Austin go ahead and take care of uh, getting this chimney ready. So we're going to see how far we can get with both water and the concrete that we got. I have a feeling that we're going to be able to completely finish this side. We've already done three holes. we got three more to do. And then I think we'll be able to hopefully do that one, this here, the one that's under the floor here. And hopefully we can also get this uh, chimney poured here, but we'll just see how that goes. Um, I have a feeling we're not gonna get to this last row here, but this row is the one closest to the door. It's the highest side, so kind of trying to save it for last simply because if we have to come back and do it later, it's the easiest to get to. So we're gonna get started on doing that. All right, so we've got all six of these ones poured down through this side. And we have eight bags left. So 
As I said earlier, we've been using about six per hole. So since we only have eight, and we can't do a whole two holes, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna move up here, and we're going to mix it in our mixing pan here, and then dump it down this uh, bigger chimney. And we'll just see how that does, see if that ends up taking up all eight or not. Well, if uh, maybe we got a little left, we'll probably pour it into the other chimney. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna fill this chimney here. All right, everyone, so we used all eight bags in that hole and it looks like we probably need about one more bag to finish it, maybe a bag and a half, but we'll get that the next time. That at least will help lock in all those bricks real good too, so we'll just uh, top it off next time we come down along with uh, doing all the rest of them. So it has been raining like crazy. So coming through that wall, look at that hole right there that we dug. It is slap full of water. So is that one over there. That one's almost full. So it has been raining like crazy. Um, so while we're borrowing, you know, paying for some water from next door, uh, we're going ahead and filling up all these buckets real quick, picking up everything, and we are about to call it a day um, it's been a short day but it is a long drive back this is actually about an hour hour and a half from where most of us live so it's a good ways away and with the way the weather is how bad it is raining and everything we're uh, gonna go head home probably be driving on the interstate around 45 to 50 miles an hour maybe even slower depending on the different weathers so it's definitely raining a lot so I guess uh, like I said that's where we're going to end this video today got so all over my face that little mask really does uh, it's like it keeps it out of your nose but it get, collects it all around it especially with the moisture in the air right now with how bad it's raining with how bad that it's raining and everything so but at least we got one more day down here. Uh, it's looking like it may rain Friday. We don't know. So if it rains Friday, um, we might be able to get, we might come down here and try to uh, pour some of these other footers. So uh, my guess is it's going to take at least another pallet, maybe a little bit more. Um, those patches that we did in the roof, you know, the little temporary patches, uh, the one over the big chimney, that one seems to be holding fine. The one on the back, uh, the wind kind of blew it off. But it's still still uh, keeping at least the majority of the water in. Most of the water that's actually underneath the house right now is coming through the back wall from where uh, the, the backyard is not sloped correctly. So it's uh, actually keeping more water out from where we took the chimneys down than is coming through everywhere else where there's all kinds of nail holes missing. So, hope y'all enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you the next time.